Woods. Interesting pictures to see there. On this week's Innovator Series, we venture into the field of e-commerce, a huge industry with booming business. Kivu Sokoni, an e-commerce platform, is set to revolutionize food security in Africa. And if you're a farmer or a trader in food items, this might just be the next big thing. Have a look. Africa's digital economy is on the rise. Recent report revealed that Africa's internet economy has the potential to reach 5.2% of the continent's GDP contributing nearly $180 billion by 2025 to its economy. Google and International Finance Corporation report released in November 2020 imply that the digital economy projected potential contribution could hit $712 billion by 2050. This is what two students of Strathmore University are taking advantage of to develop solutions for farmers across Africa to boost market access. I am uh, from the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. I am a student here at Strathmore University in fourth year doing Bachelor of Commerce in Finance and in Management Science, double majors. And I am uh, an entrepreneur. All the way from Congo to study in Kenya, what really inspired his innovation? No, I'm not alone. I'm just the co a co-founder. I'm a chief finance and operating officer of the business. But our CEO and also co-founder is uh, a master's alumni here at Strathmore in telecommunication and management. So uh, together we came up with the solution uh, to do e-commerce because in Congo we are still uh, behind in terms of technology and in terms of uh, uh, e-commerce uh, basically and we can see now M-Pesa coming there we have Airtel money so we want to leverage on all these new technologies not uh, necessarily right now but also uh, in the future once they pick up so that is basically what motivated us to do an IT uh, based solution. As a farmer or a trader how exactly can you plug in? We go to uh, local suppliers, to farmers, and to other maybe local manufacturers of certain products, and then we connect them to uh, their households, restaurants, uh, families, hotels, and also organizations. Now, we didn't want to connect farmers and vendors because we wanted to uh, remove all the middlemen that in, in between and also work on the pricing because if we source from the local manufacturers and the farmers, then we are able to give competitive prices as compared to what is in the market. As is the norm of many startups, challenges are a rite of passage. For me, I think the biggest challenge because of the market where we are in right now in DRC is internet. Uh, and electricity because people there they're still not as uh, they're not yeah they're not yes tech savvy and they're not they haven't adapted uh, technology so one of the things we did is in marketing was to go online to do the normal things of digital marketing and so on but then it didn't pick up because of the market, uh, the target market that we had. So what we did was a uh, door-to-door -door, uh, thing. So we were going to families, but still with that, we found that people are not very versed with the uh, internet, but with time, we introduced uh, other products such as electronic devices, laptops and phones, just to promote the uh, phone penetration and uh, usage of technology in DRC. So as a Kenyan farmer, why should you care about the Congo market? With the introduction of the Africa Continental Free Trade Agreement, the various countries are seeking synergy to markets for easy flow of goods and services across the African continent. This spells huge opportunities for anyone who seeks to go beyond borders and advance trade. So what does the future look like for Kivu Sokoni as a platform? Based on the products that we would have identified, uh, based on the consumption rates and the uptake in Congo, then we will be helping some farmers who are dealing with those products with uh, seed funding until they harvest and then we provide the market and then we do our own uh, advertising and marketing after. For the Innovator This Week on KTN News, I'm Brian George Otieno.
All right. So as we had said.